Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial that will show you how to really quickly and easily create player triggered or more precisely keyboard triggered events in your level. This is a super simple tutorial and it's designed to kind of give you an insight into really simple notes in your level blueprints that you can mess around with, play with, that are very clear from any perspective and include a really limited amount of elements. Because I know in my case in particular, learning Unreal blueprints is hard and probably the best way to do it is to have those small tiny details that you can learn and do yourself completely that kind of give you an insight small insight but a stable insight into blueprints so right here i have my simulation i'm building a small game where you basically fly around in an interesting level hopefully and let's say i want to create some kind of an event that the players can trigger through their decision and their interaction more precisely a single keyboard key let's say i want to place two particle systems on top of my mirror object here and let's say i want to allow players to activate those two particle systems let's say these are an explosion and a fire effect when they choose now to do that i'm going to add two of these particles as you can see i'm already on that folder you can find it in your starter content as well and i'm basically going to add both of them here and enlarge them so they're better seen from the game's perspective first of all i need an explosion as you can see it's already there it starts up but this is a key point here in the details of the same particle i'm going to turn off auto activate otherwise the particle would simply start when i add it to the world and I'm also going to make it bigger by simply pressing on the R key. I can expand it and make it more visible. I'm going to also keep it right above the same surface. And I'm going to do the same for fire. Here it is. Nice fire effect. Let me zoom in a bit. And I'm going to add again a bit of size to it so it's clearer and can be easily seen I'm going to move it let's say around here and I'm also going to turn off auto activate so I need to find it here and I'm going to turn off auto active so both are, these effects are now not active and not starting up immediately. From there on, I have both of these in my game world. We need to create that simple blueprint sequence. To do that, I'm going to open up level blueprints. And I'm going to first of all create the keyboard node that activates them. To do that, simply write in keyboard. As you can see, you have your keyboard events and I'm going to choose number one. So it's the keyboard number one key that when pressed will activate both of these particles. Now I'm going to add the particles. First of all, reference, uh, just right click and you'll have it immediate reference to P fire and I can select P explosion again reference at the right click and reference to P explosion. I have both of these active. Now I'm going to go and create another node and call it activate. And you can see activate particle system component. That is the thing that you're looking for. He's already, Unreal Engine is already giving us the target. And I'm going to do the same for this P explosion particle system. And I have both of these connected to the same activate node. 
Now the last thing I need to do is to basically assign it that keyboard key and I'm really be ready to use it in the game. So I'm going to go with on pressed and connect it to activate. And here we have it. It's basically the same system. It works the same way and it's set in the same manner for both particle systems. I'm going to compile, save and let's see it in action. Here is my sim. I'm flying. I'm going to do a fly around so it's better visible. I'm going to turn around and do another loop. And I'm going to press keyboard one. And there we have it. The particle system is active. It started up at the moment I pressed on it and it's still going. So we can do another playthrough where I immediately do it from this perspective. And you saw it. It's active, it's working, and it's going on basically. Now, this is a really simple setup and it's super easy to recreate as you can see. It's a specific thing in gameplay you would need to assign some kind of an event inside of the game world because right now magically the explosion and fire begin, but you can easily add, or not so easily, but in theory you can add an event between these two where this is triggered that the player for example drops a bomb or does something like that but that involves another set of references another set of unreal engine blueprint nodes that of course complicate things but this is a really simple really straightforward really easily understandable interaction system where your simple command activates this node which is connected to these two particle systems that are present in the game. So this is as simple as it gets but still pretty effective and pretty easy to understand if you're a beginner like me. That's all for this Unreal Engine tutorial, hopefully you found it useful, if you did please consider subscribing, leaving a like or leaving a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching. My name is Ivica, have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects and I'll see you on my next Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. Until then, bye bye.